Hi there YouTube friends, Annie Ace here. Welcome back to Auntie Ace Kitchen. My name is Amanda and I have another simple, delicious recipe to share with you this week. It only has four main ingredients, sugar, flour, butter, and a pinch of salt to help balance out the sweetness. Traditional Scottish shortbread is a famous classic biscuit in the UK. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you four different flavor combinations. They're buttery, melt in your mouth, and they're perfect to serve at tea time or give away as a gift. I know you're gonna have fun with this recipe, making and sharing it with friends and family. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what is your favorite flavor combination. So let's get cooking. Thanks for watching. Today's a very simple recipe with only four main ingredients. Into your blender, measure out some flour, soft butter, sugar, and throw in a pinch of salt. The butter is an important ingredient, so make sure to use a good quality butter and leave it out before cooking so that it softens. If you don't have a blender, then mix all of your ingredients together in a bowl. Mix up and cream together your butter and sugar first, then add your flour and salt. The next thing I get on with is greasing my four cake tins with a little bit of butter. When you make the shortbread, feel free just to use one cake tin. Traditional shortbread is either cooked in a circle tin and then cut into triangles, or a square rectangular tin and cut into shortbread fingers. If you don't have any baking tins, then you could also use a circle cookie cutter and cut out individual biscuits. You see me here dividing the shortbread into four equal portions before I add the different ingredients. There are so many different ways that you can flavor your shortbread. Fruit, nuts, herbs, tea, cocoa, and spices, just to name a few. As I always say, just take this recipe and have fun with it. I add my different flavor combinations into each bowl and get the ingredients mixed together before placing them in the fridge for about five minutes so that the shortbread mixture stays cold. After about five minutes, the shortbread mixture is chilled. I then get each bowl out of the refrigerator to mix up the ingredients and press the shortbread into the tin with my fingers. For this first flavor combination, I use some plain chocolate chips, but at Christmas, I like to break up some mint chocolate into the shortbread. For my second flavor, I use some dried cranberries, and if you like eating dried fruit, then you might be interested in checking out my Christmas mulled wine cookie recipe. For the third flavor combination, I use some lemon zest, and this is my favorite way to eat shortbread as it's so refreshing. I also like to put candied fruit peel into the shortbread at Christmas, and if you've never tried candied fruit peel, not only is it easy to make, but it's a great way to use up fruit peel. I'll leave a link in the description for an easy recipe if you're interested. The fourth and final way I show you today is original, plain and simple, buttery shortbread on its own, simply delightful with a cup of tea in the afternoon, just perfect. For a bit of fun, I try to do something different and I have a homemade stamp here, but the indent is not very deep and so when it cooks, it disappears. The last thing to do is with a fork to dock the shortbread, which means to poke holes in your dough. This helps the heat get into the shortbread and cook it evenly. The shortbread is now all prepared, so for the best results, place it back into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes to chill. By allowing your butter to chill, when you put it into your preheated oven, not only will it hold its shape, but when the butter melts slowly, your shortbread will have a better consistency. Cook your shortbread on a low heat, 150 C, for about 20 to 25 minutes until lightly golden around the edges. As soon as it comes out of the oven, score lines in your shortbread about a third of the way through, as this will help it not break up when you cut into it once it's cooled down. I've made very small small shortbread pies today, so I cut them into quarters. I recommend if you're making a bigger pie to cut them into eighths. While your shortbread is still warm, sprinkle some sugar over the top of each pie and then leave it to cool for at least 10 to 20 minutes. After 10 to 20 minutes, remove your shortbread from your baking tins and allow them to completely cool down on a wire rack before cutting them into shortbread biscuits. So here we have some delicious traditional Scottish shortbread, famous for its buttery flavor that melts in your mouth. If you've never tried traditional shortbread, then I recommend not adding any flavors first time as it really is so good just on its own. If you do decide to flavor your shortbread, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching today. I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I am making them. See you in next week's video. Have a great week. God bless. Chop Canada.